Rise and Rise and Presentation in association with all WIY News Radio. It's another week of the Nick and Dan Show, Season 2, bitches. Starring your hosts, Nick and that lovable motherfucker, Dan. Not to mention myself, Carl Winslow. And featuring Think So Joe. Yeah, bro, sir. Today's episode, Carl takes over for a week to bring new music from Nick and Dan's Escapades. Plus, a hilarious bit from Toronto based comedian Stuart Copeland. Ready? Here we go. Been here. I've been here since April. Now there's Halloween pumpkins. Jack o' lanterns. Nick and Dan show. All right, so it's me, Carl. I'm not gonna lie. Nick and Dan had a fucking blast this past week. And by that, I mean they got fucking blasted. They were schnockered all over Niagara County. Whether they were at the Evening Star, rocking out in the tribute for Greg Bubba Rinker, or at the Walmart Inn, partying down with Jacob Gibbs and the rest of the Walmart crew. Well, we're going to start off today with a bunch of videos that Drunk Nick happened to fucking capture of all the bands, except for X and Priory. Here is Noah Goki. Great to be here at the Walmart, Walmart, Fall Fest, Fall Festival, Festival, Hashtag Festival. Wash away the sex of your own monsters I can steal. I'm shutting down this movie. No justice done in place. A sample of my life is to death. Leave behind these names. Behind these names. All fucks blame. The long way on the ramble Cause my soul has been not end always By this way There won't be no more kids I've taken it away Not for me to say, not for me to say, not for me to say, yeah. Living on me and I'm walking home, takes the long way on the gravel. Cause my soul has been not in the way, by this way. Now, 
it's not just going to be live music that the boys happen to record this past weekend, because occasionally they remember to do things. You know, not like they remembered to film a fucking show this week. And left me once again behind on the couch up in the tower. Now, later on in the show, I'm also going to dig into Nick's computer and stay the fuck away from his browser history. I don't even want to know what fucking shit is in there. I've seen the things the Leffler's into, and good God. But I'm going to dig into his iTunes and find some amazing, deep, local cuts from Western New York that I'm going to share with each and every one of you. Now here is another band from this weekend. This is West Ferry. Electronics has what you need. Look up Bison Electronics online. Handmade from the ground up in Buffalo, New York. No. No. 
If you want to have more of the Nick and Dan Show weekly, be sure to check them out on YouTube at XM Priory. E X H A M P R I O R Y. Tuesdays every week. All right, all right, enough of those fucking commercials. Good God, I can't believe you people actually sit around and listen or watch this stuff. Now, like I said, later on in the show, I'm going to dig into Nick's deep music collection to find some amazing local artists that maybe you're still around, maybe you they aren't. I don't fucking know. All I know is that I'm going to find something, I'm going to hit play, and you're going to fucking love it. Now, amongst the other bands that were on the show this weekend at the Walmart Inn was a two-piece known as Adjacent Jason. And here is a little song from them.
sound and tunes. Also, as the evening progressed, it got a little bit funkier. And by funky, I mean it smelled like, I don't know, something you find in a fucking head shop. But I gotta say, the tunes were amazing throughout the entire evening. And as in the background, a blazing inferno began to erupt because apparently Gibbs set something on fire again. Now this next band is one that you might enjoy if you're down with the reggae ska. Ladies and gentlemen, let me give you days ago.
place to drop anchor and have a cold one, come on down to the River Pub, where the drinks are cheap and the atmosphere is good. 6004 Buffalo Avenue, Niagara Falls, New York, where you can hang out inside or enjoy the atmosphere outside on the patio. And also, if you're not just satisfied with a drink, you grab some grub at the pub right next door at Submariners. Where we pride ourselves with amazing quality products with generous portions. So whether you're looking for food or a drink, follow them on Facebook at the River Pub Niagara, or you can also check out Submariners LaSalle Deli. Stop on in the River Pub or Submariners, 6004 Buffalo Avenue, Niagara Falls, New York. See you down at the pub. Hi there, this is Nick from Dan Nick's Used Guitar Emporium. I know what y'all are thinking out there. Down there at that little small shop, all they got is about four guitars and that's about it. You're wrong! Need yourself a microphone? Think you're not fucking loud enough? You're right! You need to be loudest so everybody can hear you. Grab this microphone right here, you can hold it like this, like this, or if you want to be an asshole, like this. Need cables? Got them bitches too. Come on down to Dan and Nick's Used Guitar Emporium, where you can make your ass louder. Now, there wasn't just music going down all weekend at the Walmore Inn. There was also vendors, and there was puppies that people were petting. In fact, that's where Nick was for a lot of the time. He just kind of ran off screaming puppies with his hands flailing in the air. Dan followed as well, but... He was much more calm and cool-headed about it. He just kind of wandered over, all stolen and amazing with his beard, and pet the puppies. And they loved him, and he loved them, but he didn't get any puppies. Anyway, it doesn't matter. There was also a funny man up on stage from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Stuart Coakley. Um, so all these band guys up tonight, they were great so far, weren't they? They were wonderful Woo! everybody tonight. Um, a lot of them have tattoos, and, and you know, I don't get tattoos, okay, they just don't make any sense to me. I mean, I understand if you're into them, it's fine, but I mean, I can't even commit to a woman for three months to live on a piece of body art for the rest of my life, do you know what I mean? I just can't do it, I can't do it. And those people who have sleeves, you know the sleeves like their entire arms are just covered in tattoos? I just don't get it, I can't do it. And it probably makes sense because I'm jealous, because God gave me sweaters already? So, it's true guys, I, I'm really hairy, I really am really hairy. I'm so hairy I was once sexually assaulted by a bear. <laughs> True story. Although I do feel I need to uh, to clarify this. I mean a bear, like, grrrr. Not a bear, like, grrr. It's 2018. I want us all to be on the same page. Um, <clears throat> we do have cubs now. Alimony's really expensive. It's four salmon a month. Um, uh, guys, I always wanted to own an Oompa Loompa. Yeah, don't that be cool? Yeah. Owning an Oompa Loompa just like Willy Wonka did, you know what I mean? Have someone around the house to help you out with chores or shit, make you chocolate, some of that. Maybe a buddy to sit around and watch The Bachelorette, you know what I mean? Just chilling. Only problem is I'd probably take advantage of the Oompa Loompa. You know, I'd get a Tinder date, and I'd go out, and I'd come home, and I'd forget we're supposed to be watching Big Brother or something like that, and he's all mad, and Oompa left chocolate, and I'd probably call him Oompa. And the date's going well between me and the girl, you know, and Oompa's got to teach me a lesson, right? So he's going to hop out in the middle of nowhere and be like, Oompa Loompa Doompa Dee Doo, I would never sleep with Stu. I'm like, get me some. Trying to get me some, you know? Things get a little more hot and hectic and things are going on very well again, you know, I'm kind of slide in there, if you will, and he hops out again. He's like, Oompa Loompa Doompa Dee Dee. He probably has an STD. Fuck you! And that right there is the reason why I can never own an Oompa Loompa, folks. No other reason, just that right there. Um, I did go on a Tinder date recently. I went on a Tinder date with a woman that was a plus-size model. I know, I never thought I'd ever date a model. But it really dawned on me that's a very much a female sort of job. You know what I mean? You don't see too many male plus-side models, you know what I mean? 
If I wanted to break into the male plus side model job, the only thing I could possibly do is be a Paul Giamatti lookalike. <laughs> Just work bar mitzvahs, refusing people from lows, you know? <laughs> Fuck, I need to get a job. A plus size model. That'd be fucking awesome. Um, so like uh, Paul was saying, I, I am from Toronto. Uh, not originally, I'm from Niagara originally. I'm from St. Catharines, fun enough, originally. And, um, but I live in Toronto now. I don't, I don't live in a very good neighborhood, though, guys. Um, I live in the type of neighborhood that at the end of my street, you have your choice between a uh, late-night chicken place and a strip club. Those are sort of all your options for eating in my neighborhood. Uh, okay, I live in the type of neighborhood that there are security guards in my Tim Hortons. I, I know, and they're there not to eat donuts. They're there to be, like, security guards. Like, I don't know if, like, they're afraid people are going to steal a Timbit recipe or some shit, but they're there, like, in a bank or some shit, you know? Because it's squeegee kids, you know what squeegee kids are? No, they're the guys who like jump up and like clean off windshields. I still have them in my neighborhood, but they haven't been around since like 93. So I guess they're more like squeegee senior citizens at this point, you know what I mean? Okay, okay, here's the type of, here's the type of neighborhood I live in. Um, do I, yeah, okay, I'll tell the story. Um, so I was walking to work the other morning. Okay, who am I kidding? It was noon, because that's the type of life I lead. <laughs> but I was walking to work the other day. And there's this attractive woman standing at the end of the street waiting for a bus or something. I don't know. I was still drunk or hungover from the night before. And uh, she gave me that look. You know, like, come hither, stare. You know, like, tee hee. Tee hee. You know? And I get a little closer, and it dawns on me that there's no bus stop at the end of my street. And that's when she turns around and she goes, blowjob? And I'm like, no. No, I'm good. Thank you. I'm good. I'm good. But here's where it gets a little weird. She turns around, revealing a bump, looks at me dead square in the eyes and says, well, how am I going to feed my baby? <laughs> I know, right? I know. That weird to me the same as weird you guys out right now, because what did she mean by that? <laughs> did she mean by the money I was going to give her or by uh, something else, you know? Okay, guys, that's not the part that weirded me out the most. The part that weirded me out the most is, remember, it was noon. Noon. I didn't realize they come out in the daytime. I thought they were like vampires and shit, you know? And for good reason. I come from a small town, and never before have I ever heard of that profession being referred to as ladies of the early afternoon. You know? Fuck me up. Really messed me up, guys. I need to move. Okay, here's... This happens in my neighborhood uh, to a lot of us. Um... So here's what happens. We basically have like our, our own like yoga booths in my neighborhood. Uh, it's basically like a dance routine almost. So you're walking down the street, minding your own business, and a car pulls up behind you, and the lights go off, and they're blue and red, and you start hearing whoop, 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 whoop. And you know right away it moves, you gotta go, it's hands to the air, then hands to the head, then knee down, knee down, hand to the back, head to the ground. Cops come up right away. No? All right. I don't know why I like that one. I do. Fuck. No one seems to laugh at that one, but I like it anyway. <laughs> um, uh, fuck. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> uh, that's probably it for me. We might as well get this keep on going. Ladies and gentlemen, the men you're here for, some of you, me especially, because one of them is my brother. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. They're going to come up to the stage now for Red. Uh, I was about to fuck that up, too. Uh, Rad Bromance! Put your hands together for Luke, Woo! Nick, Paul, Jake, and John! Woo! I'm sorry to, uh, to uh, announce this, but Kenny Loggins could not make it tonight, so they sent us instead. We're ready for it! For a photographer to come in and make an excellent look of a photo shoot? Do you need somebody to take pictures, 
for promotional purposes, or just because you like your photo taken, well, now you can be just like Exum Priory. Get a hold of K&D Photography in Buffalo. You can look up online at facebook.com slash KD Photography Buffalo. Look them up online and let them know that Exum Priory sent you on down. K&D Photography for all your photo needs. If you want to have more of the Nick and Dan Show weekly, be sure to check them out on YouTube at XM Priory, E-X-H-A-M-P-R-I-O-R-Y, Tuesdays every week. Now, unfortunately, we're not able to play you a lot of rad bromance and set because they rocked out some seriously sweet cover music. They take some fucking songs and just spin them on their head. But you were able to catch a little snippet there of, you know, them heading into a particular location that might not be deemed as safe. Some might call it a zone of danger. I don't know. It doesn't matter. But up next, the band that wrapped up the evening and played late into the morning hours is a band that has some serious funk and soul behind them. Now, I give you grub.
and Nick's Used Guitar Emporium. Not heard about us yet? Well, you now have. Come on down where you can find yourself some expertise advice on used musical equipment. The best in industry knowledge. Here from Sorry, pre-scratched on the back, too. New strings now. Bases don't need to be pre True profession is what we do. In this very rare no string guitar, I thought the hands were meant for holding beers. That's where it's caught on fire. It's got character. Not black. Come on down. Dan and Nick's used guitar in glory. seen what Nick and Dan were up to this past weekend at the Wall War Inn. And don't worry, they'll be back next week before they go out of town. I'm sure. God, I fucking hope so. But now comes the time of the show where I start to dig into the music collection that Nick so most notoriously talks about. And it looks like we've found some serious shit, boys and girls. So, for this first little block of music from Nick's computer, I'm going to give you Wyatt Coin, Noah Goki and the Skulls, and Original Skin.
broken hearts A million more about worlds have slowly fallen apart They put it on tape that it gets so old For decades by decades But it never grows old Hidden under her dress She won't be a rock star any day soon
We treat everybody professionally. You and you obviously all play rock and roll. Hang on, let's try this out. And only the best musicians. You know, I thought that something was out. All right, let's have that again. Nice. You can try it out. You can even try out the guitars. But if you want to, you gotta wait in line, because we only have one amplifier. <laughs> but gear is selling quick, so come down to Dan Nick's Used Guitar Emporium, where we'll hook you up. Are you looking for your next amplifier? Are you trying to redefine your sound? Do you need that piece of equipment to complement your amazing guitar playing? Well, look no further. Bison Electronics has what you need. Look up Bison Electronics online. Handmade from the ground up in Buffalo, New York.
When you left with decisions, when you left with a choice to forget what's at stake here, to ignore your voice. There is no right or wrong, there is no guilty plea that we can break these chains, we can set the martyr free. Now we don't need to stop the fire, we can just fan the flame. Because these cities are burning, because it's God we blame. And if you look deep inside, and if you reach down below, in the dark, dark corners of your dark, dark soul. Because it is vintage, there's a price tag on that of... Uh, 
fifty bucks. I was gonna say fifteen. Fifteen? Yeah. Fifteen. No deals too good. About twenty-five. About nine. What if I give you five and then you give me ten? Wait, hey, right? Thinking it's got four strings, so it's worth like four hundred bucks. So we're open from whenever to whenever. We have hours here. What? We have hours? I think so. What are they? Uh, Matt. Numbers. Time of day. Letters. I mean, there's an AM or a P. <laughs> Dan and Nick's used guitar emporium, where we don't take it seriously, so why the hell should you?
fucking silly. That song from Nick actually wasn't all too awful. So, to recant what we just covered as far as music goes, we started off with Yuppie by Virus X, who back in the 80s were formerly known as Rick Miami. Right after that, we went into Jupiter Jefferson's Ice House, followed by, from Nick Lacido, The Look, from an album that he put out fucking ages ago. Now, after the break, we're going to come on back and start to get things a little bit heavier. From one of Niagara Falls' finest metal acts, we're going to give you a little song for detriment. And then right after, a little bit more Niagara Falls metal with a song from Severn. We'll be back after the commercials. Are you looking for a place to drop anchor and have a cold one? Come on down to the River Pub where the drinks are cheap and the atmosphere is good. 6004 Buffalo Avenue, Niagara Falls, New York, where you can hang out inside or enjoy the atmosphere outside on the patio. But also, if you're not just satisfied with a drink, you can grab some grub at the pub right next door at Submariners. Where we pride ourselves with amazing quality products with generous portions. So whether you're looking for food or a drink, follow them on Facebook at the River Pub Niagara, or you can also check out Submariners LaSalle Deli. Stop on in the River Pub or Submariners, 6004 Buffalo Avenue, Niagara Falls, New York. See you down at the pub. If you want to have more of the Nick and Dan Show weekly, be sure to check them out on YouTube at XM Priory, E-X-H-A-M-P-R-I-O-R-Y, Tuesdays every week.
Christ, I forgot how heavy the metal used to be that came out of Niagara Falls back in the day. Now, what we just listened to was Pushing Yourself from a band known as Detriment. And before that was known as Apathy in Niagara Falls. Right after, we went barreling in to another Niagara Falls metal band known as Severed. And the song was With Every Step. Now, we've reached the point in the evening where things are about to get a little bit on the heavier side. Coming up after the break, we're going to give you a little bit of breaking solace, some scarecrow show, and we're going to wrap up the night with a little bit of final decline. We'll be back. Dan here from Dan and Nick's Used Guitar Emporium. Today, we just got in this vintage mandolin. I'm not exactly sure what differentiates a female from a male to win, but this one in particular is a male. I know that because it told me aggressively and then showed me. So if you're on the market to get a Dolin, come on down to Dan and Nick's Used Guitar Emporium where you can pick yourself up a man Dolin. Currently out of stock of female Dolins though, but we do have this one in particular. See you down here.
just listening to. So we started off the last block with It's Not Over by Breaking Solace. Right after that, we moved into a little tune from the Scarecrow Show, known as Straight and Narrow. And we wrapped that shit up with the heavy-hitting thunder of our boys in Final Decline with a song called Verified Rumor. Now, as I was mentioning, we're getting close to the end of the season. But that doesn't mean that you don't get to hang out with your buddy Carl. Now, on the downtime between season two and season three, you're going to get to hang out with me every Thursday night from 6 p.m. until 8 p.m., where I will be bringing you amazing music from the western New York, and, ah, fuck it, everywhere, any type of independent artists, so musicians, if you're listening, be sure to get a hold of us, so that way I can get your music on all WNY radio. Now, right now, the name of the show is kind of in the works. Turns out, Ozzy stole the boneyard. So, I think... I'm going to go with his Carl's Skeleton Closet. So make sure to tune in for whatever the fuck we call the show after the end of Season 2 of the Nick and Dan Show. But that's just about it for us, everybody. Be sure to tune in every week, and we will see you back here next week. Bye. Hello.
that's all from the Nick and Dan Show for this week. Be sure to tune in on the YouTube channel at XM Priory for Tuesday antics, plus the full extended version every Thursday on all WNYRadio.com.